Hey everybody, thank you for pressing play. In this video, we're looking at this car here. This is a Honda Civic, it's a 202 registered one. And this one's a really nice one because it's what's called a premium specification. And what's also nice about it is it's actually a diesel version, but it's a nine speed automatic diesel version as well. So it drives really well. This car is a really comfortable cruiser with a high level of specification. Let's start off by going for a drive. Because this is premium, I have keyless entry, so I can put my hand in. It recognizes that I have the key on me and it allows me to start. There is a push button start on the right hand side, which is pretty neat. And if you look at the wing mirror over here on the right, there's also this blind spot indicator which lights up when people come up too close on your blind spot. The gearbox is over here, so I have drive, uh, reverse, uh, which also has reverse camera, we'll have a better look at that, P up there for park. So back into reverse, and actually one pretty neat thing because this is a premium model, uh, reverse camera is uh, like what's on the other models, but this one has cross monitor. What I mean by that, it actually spots things from outside your visual field and warns you that they're coming, which is pretty cool. And there's also parking sensors on the front and the rear as well, which are pretty nice. The button transmission takes a little bit of getting used to it, but I have to say once you're used to it, you kind of get into the habit and you'll wonder why you ever had to bother with a push stick that's normally on them before. Steering wheel is rake reach, so I can go in, out and up and down as well. And we'll see later on that the seat is fully adjustable and the seats are heated in the front with three stages of heat as well. Once you get driving, like we we're saying to you, this is a really, really comfortable cruising car. It is uh, wide on the road and you'll see when we get onto the back road, it handles really well, but it's nice having an automatic transmission. And there's also a couple of modes in the transmission. So you've got a D and an S. So if you see, I press the button here, it goes into an S mode. And that means then the engine revolutions sit a little bit higher. So I have a much more quicker access to power. And I also have the paddle shift along through here. And the one thing about this, I have to say, it's a 1.6 diesel engine with 300 Newton meters of torque and 120 horsepower. But this nine speed gearbox makes better use of it than the six speed manual does. So I guess what I mean, the S is a more aggressive mode of driving, whereas you can go back into D and just cruise there. So like we're saying on a back road, this sit real nice the civic is really wide and it's actually quite a long car as well considering the class of car it's in and it makes you feel confident when you're driving on a back road even a wet road like this as well but you still have quick access to the paddles if you want to have a bit of fun on that back road but most of the time for a lot of people they're just going to want to cruise and that's what's nice about this car it cruises but it's always because of the way it has nine gears it has good access to the power band that's in this diesel engine whenever it's required so in this case for example if i slow down and stop and turn around and floor the car straight away immediately it gets up through those gears is really fast third fourth fifth and it's actually enjoyable but then like we're saying i can just sit back and cruise and actually if you look at the cruise control function it's actually pretty advanced so first of all you can set it and if you see up here it actually recognizes that there's a car in front of us that it needs to follow and respect so that means it'll actually follow the car in front i can take my foot off the pedal it'll maintain the speed i want but if the car in front slows down i actually slow down as well so in this case i have it set for 60 but we're only doing 54 because the car in front is going a lot slower than i am you can also then set how far do i want to stay behind that car in front so i can say very far and it'll actually keep a distance between us or i can say a lot closer and then my car will actually tighten up to the rear of that car again but this is all done without me actually touching the pedals that's really really cool and the other thing as well is it also has a low speed follow function we'll see that when we get to stop over here while we're cruising you'll see the screen we're going to talk about that towards the end of the video with lots of functionality on it and things like the wipers and lights so in this case the wipers are rain sensitive and the lights are auto adaptive which means they come on at night themselves but they also dip when they meet traffic but in this case low speed follow i'm following this car here i'm not touching the pedals at all the car in front of me is braking i don't need to touch the brake or the accelerator and my car will actually come to a halt behind the car in front and follow them i mean how nice is that again this is just making the car more comfortable than you would find on a normal manual version and of course i understand you're not going to be taking your foot up like the way i am here i just want to demonstrate the rear taillights are a really nice led and just the shape of the car in the rear it's really aggressive when you drive behind them at night time they look so cool and distinctive and again the same on the outside especially this car with black with the black wheels it looks really cool keyless entry i can walk up to the boot we actually have a honda civic at home ourselves as a family car and the boot is really big especially for things like buggies i can bring across this tray along here but the actual reason is it's flexible which means you can pile up stuff in there and it just means it's much more flexible than you'd find in a normal Normal car with a parcel shelf and there's a really big load area when you let the seats down. Other cool features then on the back of the car, the windows are also a really dark privacy which is useful on the rear and the side for stopping sun getting in but it actually looks cool and these two spoilers are actually functional, they look cool but they channel air off the car in the rear in the most aerodynamic way possible so they're functional and they look nice as well. In terms of the inside when we get in the back, this is a two-tone leather interior so there's speakers here, there's also speakers down in the door so two speakers in each door on the rear, nice leather here, nice leather long here and brushed aluminium long here but there's also more speakers up through here, this is a premium audio system because it's a premium specification so rear speakers on each side the rear seats three head restraints three three point safety belts and an armrest and it's got that nice two-tone leather finish on the inside which brightens up the interior
in terms of the size in the back, uh, just to give you some idea, uh, I'm six foot, so that's the amount of headroom I have, and then that's the amount of legroom I have. Kangaroo pocket here, kangaroo pocket for the passenger. And again, that nice theme of leather continues up front. Electrics for windows and mirrors along the doors, more speakers, and there's actually another speaker up in the dash just along through here. So again, there's a really good audio system in this car. There's also the functionality from the key, which means you can open up the windows and close them down, and the sunroof opens in the same way. And because this is a premium hatchback, it has that massive panoramic sunroof, which is lovely, but you can close it over, and there's also a nice netted cover along here if you don't want the sun coming in on top of you. So the driver's seat, like we said, is height adjustable, and there's also lumbar support along here for your lower back, as well as the height adjustable talked about but there's also lumbar support for the passenger somebody that also gets uh, often forgotten cars well they've been catered for in this one safety you've got driver and passenger airbags there's curtain airbags up high and there's side airbags in the seats along through here and there's even things like anti-whiplash head restraints which come forward to reduce how far your head goes backward if you're rear-ended because it's a GT then we get aluminium pedals nice push button start over through here and then the functions underneath there include things like lane change warning if it warns you if you drift out of your lane parking sensors front and rear and then the autonomous braking and on this part along here there's uh, controls for speed limiter, cruise control that we saw already, and a lane keep function, which actually tries to keep you in the lanes rather than just warn you. Bluetooth and radio controls here, and then trip information in through here, average speed, fuel efficiency, how much fuel is left in the tank, and all that kind of stuff along here. We saw already then there's a push button gearbox setup, which is pretty cool. And beside that then there's adaptive dampers. And what that does is it reduces how much stroke is in the damper and it stiffens the suspension for aggressive driving. Heated seats we saw already. And then up through here then dual zone climate control, which means I can have different temperatures on each side of the car and this is the Honda Connect system we talked about already where everything is touch and swipe. In terms of the other functions on the screen then there's Garmin navigation which is standard the audio has a load of different functionality so you can use music via Bluetooth you can also use HDMI you can use USB and a smartphone can own connection down here for things like Android Auto Apple CarPlay for Google Maps HDMI and a USB connector here and there's also another USB connector hidden in the armrest this is a super cool looking car I love the way it's black because it really matches the black wheels and the tinted rear glass but this is a really nice comfortable cruiser I think it comes together really well and that interior and the space level is really cool so if there's any information you want on this car 086 843 1945 brian is my name basically to summarize this car if you want something that's actually economical if you want something that's automatic and actually the nine speed gearbox in this is savage it works really really well it accesses the power better than the six speed counterpart i think in a manual i think this automatic one you makes better use of the torque band in this car drive it yourself try the two of them i think this one feels like a quicker car and this car is all about comfort it's got a lovely glass roof it's got the nice heated seats leather interior and black to be fair i think is actually one of the most aggressive looking colors on these civics as well so it looks really well especially with the black wheels and the black windows in the back cool car overall and here's the thing there ain't no more of them this is actually the last of the nine speed autos and especially in this kind of premium spec as well um and i'd say diesel civic may not ever come again so this is probably the last chance you'll ever have to buy a car like this anyway if you want information on trading your car scrapping a car finance information about uh this car in general running costs or anything like that please do not hesitate to give me a shout oh six eight four three one nine four five brian is my name and we are fitzpatrick's garage family run business and operation for almost 70 years so hopefully the video has been useful and if you're watching on youtube and you think the video is useful please do like and subscribe or if you're in ireland and you're considering buying the car please do give me a shout and i'll do my best to look after you before uh, you come to see the car thank you